can look out into the sky our best theory of how the universe got into that state is that there was a time before that and it's called inflation. When we think of the beginning of the universe, our minds often jump straight to the Big Bang, that colossal explosion from a singularity that supposedly marked the start of everything, space, time, matter, and energy. But what if that moment wasn't the beginning at all? What if instead it was a transition, a boundary between what was and what is? Brian Cox, the renowned physicist known for blending poetic wonder with rigorous science, has spoken on this chilling idea, that the universe may have emerged from something far more disturbing than nothingness, something ancient, something eternal, and possibly something terrifying. To understand what Brian Cox suggests, we need to first understand what the Big Bang actually is, and what it isn't. Contrary to popular belief, the Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space, it was an expansion of space itself. Every point in the universe was compressed into an unfathomably small, hot, and dense state. Then, in a fraction of a second, it expanded. But here's the twist. The Big Bang doesn't describe the origin of the universe. It describes the evolution of the universe from a hot, dense state. That means the beginning is still a mystery, a blank spot. And that's where things get eerie. Brian Cox often emphasizes that the Big Bang might not be the absolute beginning. Instead, it may be a horizon beyond which we cannot see. But if we dare to speculate, guided by physics rather than fantasy, some unsettling possibilities emerge. One of them is the concept of a cyclic universe, a cosmos that didn't begin with the Big Bang but has been expanding and contracting in endless cycles of birth and death, a sort of cosmic heartbeat. That would mean our universe could be just the latest version in a potentially infinite sequence, each one crushing down into a singularity only to explode outward again. Now here's where it gets unsettling. In this model, the conditions before the Big Bang were not empty. They were filled with a decaying, collapsing universe, a ghostly mirror of our own. And if that's the case, everything we are, everything we experience, might be an echo of something that already happened, perhaps countless times before. The laws of physics could be recycled. The constants of nature might remain fixed. But the details, the stars, the galaxies, the civilizations, could be different every time. Or, disturbingly, they might repeat in an eerie similarity. But there's another possibility. Brian Cox has referenced the idea of the multiverse, the notion that our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam of universes. In some versions of this theory, particularly those linked to eternal inflation, universes are constantly being born in a sea of quantum chaos. That means the Big Bang was not the beginning of everything, just the beginning of our universe's local chapter. Before it, a roiling eternal inflation field birthing infinite universes, each with their own laws and constants. And what's terrifying about that? It's the realization that there may be no ultimate origin, no singular cause, just an endless fractal of universes spinning off each other forever. In such a reality, meaning itself becomes elusive. Our universe, our lives, might be nothing more than a flicker in a chaotic quantum storm, a cosmic accident with no purpose, no direction, and no end. Even more disturbing are the quantum gravity models that suggest time itself may be emergent. That is, time as we understand it didn't exist before the Big Bang. In fact, before might be a meaningless concept. Brian Cox often highlights this strange consequence. If time is a property that began with the Big Bang, then there is no before, just like there's no place north of the North Pole, there might be no time prior to the Big Bang. But if that's true, where did the Big Bang come from? How did it happen without time to allow it? One idea comes from loop quantum cosmology, a theory that attempts to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. In this framework, the universe doesn't emerge from a singularity. Instead, it undergoes a bounce. Before the Big Bang, there was a contracting universe, which compressed down to a smallest possible volume, never reaching infinite density, and then rebounded into expansion. The implication is that the Big Bang was not a beginning, but a transition point between contraction and expansion. If true, then we must ask, what was that prior universe like? Was it similar to ours? Was it filled with stars, galaxies, and life? Or was it cold, dark, and collapsing, a dying cosmos falling into itself? And here lies the truly haunting possibility, if the laws of physics remain constant across cycles, and if quantum information is never truly destroyed, then echoes of previous universes might be imprinted in our own, subtle clues buried in the cosmic microwave background radiation patterns that shouldn't be there, maybe even scars from collisions with other universes. In fact, some physicists have claimed to detect circular anomalies in the background radiation, spots where the smoothness of the cosmos is broken. 
Could these be bruises from a previous existence? The notion that we live in a universe that has died and been reborn countless times isn't just unsettling, it's humbling. It means that our cosmic story might be one of recurrence rather than creation, a play endlessly reperformed on a stage that never changes. Brian Cox has remarked that this cyclical model forces us to confront the ultimate insignificance of beginnings and endings. What matters is not when the universe started, but why it behaves the way it does now, and perhaps what comes next. But let's go deeper. What if the pre-Big Bang state was something even more alien? Some physicists, inspired by string theory and M-theory, suggest that our universe could have been created from the collision of higher dimensional objects called brands. In this scenario, our entire universe exists on a three-dimensional membrane floating in a higher dimensional space. Occasionally, two brands collide, releasing massive amounts of energy and causing a new universe to be born. The Big Bang, in this model, is just the moment of impact. Before that, two vast sheets of reality drifted in an eternal void. Their convergence wasn't random. It was inevitable. And terrifyingly, it might happen again. Then there's the possibility that before the Big Bang, the universe existed in a radically different form. Some physicists have proposed a pre-geometric phase, a state where space and time as we understand them didn't exist. Instead, what existed was pure information, a tangled network of quantum relationships without direction, distance, or duration. No past, no future, no space to move through, and no time to mark movement. It's not that there was something before the Big Bang in the traditional sense. It's that the Big Bang was a transformation, a cosmic phase change. Just as water freezes into ice under the right conditions, space and time may have crystallized out of something more fundamental. This line of thinking suggests that the Big Bang wasn't the start of matter, but the beginning of structure, an emergent phenomenon, like patterns forming on a frosted window. But if time and space can emerge, then the idea of a before becomes meaningless. Yet it leaves one unavoidable conclusion. Something must have existed, something outside our notions of beginnings and endings. Perhaps it was a timeless mathematical system, a sea of probabilities, a strange silent framework waiting for complexity to ignite. This is where things become not just strange, but deeply unsettling. If the fundamental layer of reality isn't physical but mathematical, pure logic and code, then what we experience as real may just be an illusion arising from patterns and information. We're not living in a solid universe of substance, but in a delicate, ever-evolving arrangement of values. And those patterns don't care about meaning, purpose, or direction, they simply follow rules. That's the terror, not destruction or chaos, but indifference, a reality that doesn't need to care because it wasn't made to care. Brian Cox often points out that our understanding of the cosmos is limited by our senses, by our perception, by the short lifespans of human thought. We interpret reality through the narrow lens of survival and experience, not through the cold, vast mechanics of the cosmos. The universe is not required to conform to our intuition. In fact, it often defies it. Our minds crave origin stories, neat beginnings, and satisfying ends. But the universe may offer none of. The quantum landscape, bridging the known and the unknown. In the quest to comprehend the universe's inception, Quantum mechanics offers a lens through which the fabric of reality is examined. The probabilistic nature of quantum events suggests that the universe's birth was not a singular, deterministic event but rather a manifestation of quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations, governed by the uncertainty principle, could have given rise to the universe from a state of quantum nothingness, where traditional concepts of space and time are absent. This perspective aligns with the notion that the universe is a product of quantum tunneling, where a transition from a non-existent state to an existent one occurs without a classical cause. Such a process challenges our understanding of causality and the very nature of existence, suggesting that the universe's emergence might be an intrinsic feature of quantum laws. The role of observers in defining reality. Quantum theory introduces the concept that observation plays a crucial role in determining the state of a system. This observer-dependent reality implies that the universe's properties are not fixed until measured or observed. Extending this idea to cosmology, it raises the question, did the universe require an observer to bring it into a definite state? If so, it presents a paradox. How could observers exist before the universe's formation to observe it into existence? This conundrum leads to interpretations like the participatory anthropic principle, which posits that the universe must be such that it allows for observers to emerge, thereby giving it a defined state. Such interpretations blur the line between physics and philosophy, suggesting that consciousness and the universe are intertwined in ways yet to be fully understood. 
The holographic principle, a universe encoded on a boundary. Another intriguing concept is the holographic principle, which proposes that all the information contained within a volume of space can be represented as a theory on the boundary of that space. In cosmology, this suggests that our three-dimensional universe might be a projection of information encoded on a two-dimensional boundary. If the universe operates holographically, then the fundamental reality might reside not within the universe itself but on its boundary. This perspective revolutionizes our understanding of space, time, and gravity, indicating that the universe's true nature is vastly different from our perceptions. It also implies that the universe's origin could be rooted in information theory, where bits of data on a cosmic horizon give rise to the reality we experience. The arrow of time and entropy. Time's unidirectional flow, from past to future, is a fundamental aspect of our experience. This arrow of time is closely linked to the concept of entropy, the measure of disorder in a system. The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy tends to increase over time, providing a direction to time's flow. However, if the universe underwent cycles of contraction and expansion, as suggested by the cyclic model, how does entropy behave across these cycles? Does entropy reset with each bounce, or does it accumulate, leading to a heat-death scenario over infinite cycles? These questions delve into the thermodynamic properties of the universe and challenge our understanding of time's nature and its beginning. The search for a unified theory. The quest to unify general relativity, which governs the cosmos's large-scale structure, with quantum mechanics, which dictates the subatomic realm, remains one of physics' greatest challenges. A successful theory of quantum gravity would provide insights into the universe's earliest moments, where both gravitational and quantum effects are significant. Loop quantum gravity and string theory are leading candidates in this pursuit. Loop quantum gravity suggests that space-time has a discrete structure, composed of finite loops woven into a fine fabric. This framework eliminates singularities, proposing that the universe's beginning was a transition rather than a point of infinite density. String theory, on the other hand, posits that fundamental particles are one-dimensional strings vibrating at specific frequencies, with additional dimensions beyond the familiar three of space and one of time EJTP plus one Facebook plus one. Both theories aim to describe the universe's birth and reconcile the apparent contradictions between relativity and quantum mechanics. Their development and potential validation through experiments or observations could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos's origin. The philosophical implications of a pre-Big Bang universe. Contemplating a universe that predates the Big Bang carries profound philosophical implications. If the universe has no true beginning, then the concept of creation must be re-evaluated. It challenges theological and metaphysical notions of a universe brought into existence by a prime mover or a specific event. Moreover, if time itself emerged from a timeless state, our understanding of causality and existence is fundamentally altered. It suggests that the universe's origin is not a question of what caused it, but rather how did it transition from a state beyond time into the temporal realm we inhabit. Such considerations bridge physics with metaphysics, inviting interdisciplinary dialogue to explore these profound questions. Conclusion. Embracing the unknown. The exploration of what preceded the Big Bang is not merely an academic exercise but a journey into the deepest realms of human curiosity and understanding. It challenges our perceptions, compels us to question the nature of reality, and pushes the boundaries of science and philosophy. While definitive answers remain elusive, the pursuit itself enriches our comprehension of the universe and our place within it. As we continue to probe the cosmos's mysteries, we embrace the unknown, recognizing that each discovery opens new avenues of inquiry and wonder. The universe is a question, not an answer. In a universe possibly devoid of traditional beginnings or endings, perhaps we've been asking the wrong questions. Brian Cox has often emphasized that the universe might not be a fixed object to analyze but an unfolding process, an ongoing question that reveals itself through observation, experiment, and contemplation. This notion forces us to shift our perspective. Instead of treating the universe as a static artifact with a clear point of origin, we must see it as something emergent and dynamic, evolving through layers of complexity. This approach suggests that what we call the Big Bang may have been merely a phase transition in a broader, more complex cosmological process. Just as water becomes ice not by appearing from nothing but by undergoing a transformation due to environmental conditions, our universe might have crystallized out of a more fundamental, pre-geometric state governed by informational relationships rather than space and time. The Echoes of Forgotten Universes One of the most haunting and fascinating ideas is that clues to previous universes, or earlier states of this universe, may still be visible in our cosmos. 
If there were universes before ours, could we detect them? Some scientists, including Roger Penrose, have explored the concept of conformal cyclic cosmology, which suggests that black holes from a previous universe could have left imprints on the cosmic microwave background, CMB. These imprints, according to Penrose, may appear as anomalous circular patterns in the CMB, a relic from an eon before our own. Although this interpretation is controversial and heavily debated, it demonstrates the human drive to reach beyond the known, to seek fingerprints from realities beyond the current epoch. The possibility that our universe bears scars, or perhaps even encoded memories, of what came before is as poetic as it is scientific. It suggests that time itself may be a palimpsest, a layered text where past and future blur in subtle ways. A cold and indifferent birth. If the universe did not begin in a divinely orchestrated event, nor even in a burst of spontaneous purpose, then what does that mean for us? Brian Cox is clear-eyed about the implications. A universe that was not designed, but emerged from physical processes, carries with it no inherent meaning. There may be no grand narrative written into the fabric of the cosmos. The laws of physics don't point toward morality,